Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll introduce you to Rome 42. Uh, what is Rome 42? Well, Ro Rome 42 is a new name for Rome Monkey. As I mentioned in a previous video, Rome Monkey is a prototype of various possibilities of extending Rome. And actually there was a, a large number of people who showed interest in it and are using it. I didn't expect that. It's wonderful. And it's nice to get uh, feedback from many users. So just to add a little more polish and to reflect a slightly larger user base, I'm renaming it to Rome 42. The number 42 is significant. Think about it. So what's new uh, in this update to Rome Monkey, which is now called Rome 42? Well, a lot of code cleanup and UI cleanup to make it look a little nicer. And just to mention, the code to uh, Rome 42 is available for you on GitHub. You can download it, do whatever you want. Uh, I also host uh, Rome 42 on Glitch. Glitch is a website, it's a code editor along with a hosting service. It's free, it works really well. And what's really exciting about this is you as a user, if you wanna modify this code, you can come up to Glitch, click on this button, click Remix. It'll take my entire project, generate a new project that's just yours, and then you are in complete control. But what's nice about uh, this is if you're interested in learning how to manipulate Rome from JavaScript, there's a lot of code here that I've gotten from other users via Twitter uh, and other places, so we can learn from each other. Uh, with this update, I have to give a lot of thanks to a lot of different individuals. Got a lot of feedback on functionality, user interface, bug reports, so on Twitter, thank you to everybody who helped out, and of course the Slack channel where we have a discussion going around Rome 42. And if you're new to Rome 42, please check out in the same channel the Rome Monkey video. Everything there still applies, it's still very useful. So what's new and updated in Rome 42? There's a new jump to date feature a quick reference feature, some interesting live preview changes, and some new shortcut keys. And just to mention in the future, we're planning an update to the template en engine, thanks to Victor, and also a pretty significant update to the daily notes pop-up, which actually turns out to be a super, super popular feature. Let's start to go through what's new. I want to start off with the jump to date feature. Let's Let's do this from the sidebar using the Rome 42 shortcut key to open the sidebar. Alt shift forward slash. This is one of the new keystrokes added to Rome 42. Let's take a look at jump to date. So jump to date is a really interesting feature. If you're a heavy user of the daily notes page as I am, you're frequently moving between dates and basically it's totally replaced uh, Todoist and other programs for me. So let me pull up uh, today's page. Uh, and let's just get some starting point here. So I'm gonna pop in the daily template that I use. This is using the Rome 42 template feature. And basically, as you can see here, I have kind of a basic layout for the day, the agenda, tasks I wanna do, activities from the day, and some predefined queries that I use as a starting point to see what activities I should move into the day. This is pretty nice, I can just Say, you know what, I wanna work on that. So I do a copy block, put that up here, make it a task. And now I have that link to my project. I also have a nice block embed here, something that repeats on every single day. Okay, so jump to date. Jump to date is Alt-Shift-J, Alt-Shift-J. And that pulls up this nice little menu. Of course, I can use my mouse and click a date, and this will jump me to that date. So if I wanna go back to yesterday, 22nd, and so now I'm on the 22nd, Alt-Shift-J again, and I can actually navigate this with my arrow keys. Left, right, up, down. Let's go out to the 31st. It's blank, there's nothing here, but I'm gonna put a reminder for myself at this date, all right? And now Alt-D, the default ROM key to go back to today's page. So Alt-Shift-J brings me to jump to date, and I can quickly go to any date. Now, if I click on a date and there's no page yet for that day, a page is created for me. This is also really nice on a device like an iPhone. Uh, for mobile support here, you'll notice there's this little icon here. It's actually up here. If you click on that icon, it pulls up the jump to date menu. And this is useful. So if you want to jump between dates on your iPhone or 
on your tablet or whatever de mobile device you have, you can get to the jump to date feature that way. In addition, there's control shift period and control shift comma. Uh, period jumps you to the next day, comma to the previous day. Of course, it assumes you're looking at a page already. So let's see how that looks. Here I am on today's page and I want to go back a previous day, control shift comma. And you see it moves me back. It even shows me what day I jumped back to. I can keep jumping back, control shift comma, control shift comma, or I can move forward, control shift period, control shift period, control shift period, until I'm back to today and even going into the future. If you have a hard time remembering the keystrokes, don't worry about that. Just memorize Alt-Shift-H. Alt-Shift-H pulls up the Rome 42 help menu where you can see all these shortcuts listed. So Alt-Shift-H brings up the help menu. Let's move on to the next feature, the quick reference. As you may know, I love using the keyboard and Rome has many keyboard shortcuts, but you have to discover them quite a bit for yourself. So I started to compile a list and then I wanted that in Rome and so on, and hence was born the quick reference feature. So what is the quick reference feature? Control Shift H, Control Shift H, pulls up this little menu or screen actually, and it is a quick reference. It allows you to find a list of, of shortcuts and features built into Rome. It's a little bit like a help system, but much simpler. It supports search, so okay, what? can I do if I want to highlight? So here's the formatting options. Here's what the markdown looks like and even the forward slash command. Oh, I'm interested in a query. Here's some information about the queries. So uh, this is very useful while you're learning. It also docs here wherever you want it to be. You can collapse it down if you want to just keep it handy. Control Shift H again will toggle it away. So as you see it's searchable and I originally started this as a reference for myself, so it's actually available at this site here, Rome forward slash, no, Rome dash quick ref dot glitch, and here's what it looks like. So it's basically the, it's a website that has all the same functionality as Rome 42, but it stands alone. That way, if somebody doesn't want to install Rome 42, they can at least use this uh, reference, which I think is very nice to have on the site while you're learning Rome. And even if you know Rome, it's very nice to have. It's a growing database, so if you see a mistake, please send me a correction. If you see something that would be useful to add to it, I would love to see that as well. So send that to me and very quickly I can add that to the database. Let's move along to live preview changes. Live preview is something that uh, was already supported in Rome 42, but we made some changes. You can now toggle it on and off. Some users really didn't like this feature, so with it on by default, it was irritating for them. So now it's off by default, but Control Shift L will turn it back on, and Control Shift will toggle it off. So Control Shift L, you can see the little message, Live Preview enabled, Control Shift L again, uh, Live Preview disabled. And your setting is remembered between sessions, so you can leave it however you like. So I'm gonna turn it on here, and this is what it does. As you can see, it's providing a preview very quickly of these uh, links to pages. Uh, because we can now control if it's on or off, it's configured to load very, very fast. So once it's on, there's almost no delay in showing the page. And we've extended the capability. It now supports even uh, tags. This is something that didn't work before. So now if you want to See a preview of a tag. And as you see, it's even working inside block embeds, which didn't do before. So nice little upgrade. Now there's something really cool here. Uh, Rob conveyed this trick to me. Basically, he likes to do this. Let's say you're previewing a page, but you want to change that. There's no way in Rome uh, to change this page without first opening it and changing the title. But here, if you're using live preview, which is live, you can actually update and you see how it updated behind the scenes. So just again, hover over. I want to change that to fall big vacation. Click away and you can see it got updated. Moving along, we come to new shortcut keys. There's Alt J, jump to first block and page. Alt K, jump to last block and page. 
alt shift forward slash open the sidebar. You've already seen me use this one, alt shift forward slash. It just simply toggles open and close the sidebar. So if you're a keyboard person, it makes it convenient to get in and out. Second is alt J, jump to first block and page. Let me demonstrate that. Let's open a page I have here, Evergreen Notes. And as you scroll through, you see it's a pretty long page. So here I'm at the bottom. If I press Alt J, Alt J, it bounces me up into the first node. Alt K, Alt K, brings me down to the end. This is something I've seen in the forums, people wanting to jump between the top and the bottom quickly. So Alt J, Alt K. So let's talk about installation. If you're an existing Roam Monkey user, you're gonna to wanna to delete the old code for Roam Monkey from your Roam database. You can continue to use the old code if you want, but you won't get any of the new features. We moved it over to the Roam 42 path, so this is why it requires an installation step. So delete the old Roam Monkey reference and then uh, come and follow the steps here on the Roam 42 installation. So if you come to the public database for Roam Hacker. There's this link, Roam 42 installation and features. This is a summary of installation steps, as well as feature sets, the older uh, Roam Monkey video, and kind of a breakdown of feature by feature. So this is going to outline the, outline the steps of what you need to do. And long story short, you're gonna copy these blocks into your Roam database these have to be moved into your database. So how does that work? Just click here in that first empty block, click and drag down. So I'm just selecting these blocks here. I'm gonna press Control C for copy. And in your own database, you create a new page. Let's say you're gonna call it your uh, Rome 42 code, whatever you want. In a clean block, just paste it. That's it. And so now you've copied everything that you need. I want to draw your attention to this red box. Please read it closely. You need to understand what you're doing here. You're, you're enabling code to run on your database. This is your responsibility. This is for you to understand what's going on. Do you want to run the JavaScript code blocks nested here? Yes, I know what I'm doing. This is not safe unless you know JavaScript and read the code blocks or trust the author. It's very important. That's a whole lesson in itself but basically you need to understand. So only load code that you really trust and that's always true in life. Uh, which you'll notice here, this is just code that basically loads the Rome 42 code from the Rome 42 website. Uh, and while we're here, if you want to disable any of the built-in features, you can actually come here and just remove these lines and that will disable those features that are uncommented. But by default, nothing is disabled. So. If you understand what you're doing and you want to proceed, you just click on the button. Yes, I know what I'm doing. And that will start to load the Rome 42 code. And you'll see because a little message pops up indicating that Rome 42 is starting. Uh, if you've deleted the Rome monkey code, I always recommend refreshing your browser to make sure there's a clean start. So that's a quick overview of the new Rome 42 features. Up at the Rome Hacker uh, public Rome database, uh, next to the Rome 42 installation and features link, if you're interested in support from the community, there's a Slack forum, uh, Rome 42 channel at romeresearch.slack.com. Come there and many of the friendly people I'm sure will be happy to help you out. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.